everybody welcome back to my channel this is Laura we are gonna start preparing the chicken for our puffy tacos now the filling you can add whatever you like to the puffy tacos you can put shredded beef you can put beans you can put uh, hamburger meat taco meat I am gonna make them out of chicken and I'm just gonna share my recipe for the how I make the chicken for that real simple nothing nothing fancy uh, yesterday what I did is I boiled some chicken and I always make extra so that I can uh, freeze half of it and have it for a later date. I boiled the chicken and I use dark meat. I like the dark meat, it just has so much more flavor. And all I do is just take it apart and I start to shred it and remove the cartilage, take it all out and just shred it into small pieces and that's it, nothing fancy. We will cut up the, the onion and the garlic for this in just a moment and then we will saute this on the stove before moving on to the actual puffy taco shells. Okay, so we're just gonna do this for a little bit. I'm gonna start dicing the onion. I finished the, the chicken. I have it all shredded up here. And no need to cut it into smaller pieces because it will shred some more as we're cooking it, as we are preparing it, not cooking it, because it's already cooked. Okay, now we're gonna do our garlics. Okay, now we have our garlic and our onion and our chicken. I'm gonna transfer you over to the stove and we'll start sauteing our chicken. So I added some olive oil and it's a good amount. It's about a quarter cup of olive oil. May seem like a lot, but this gives your chicken a lot of flavor. So the first thing we're gonna start with is we're gonna saute the onions. We're gonna let these get translucent before we add our garlic so that the garlic doesn't burn on us and get bitter. So we're gonna add some salt to the onions and we're gonna season in layers, like always, season as we go. You know, a lot of this onion and garlic, it's gonna cook down so you won't even see it pretty much in the chicken, but it gives it a lot of flavor, a lot of definition to your chicken, a lot of layers of flavor. Now that our onion is translucent, we are going to add in our garlic. Okay, the vegetables here, the onions and the garlic are nicely sauteed. I mean, it's very translucent. We are now going to add our chicken back in. And you can do it a little bit at a time. So that you can get it incorporated in here. And now, so that this can cook down, you see some skin or something you want to take out, just take it out from there. Okay, now we are going to add some pepper. And we are going to add a little bit of chicken, some of the chicken broth, so that this chicken can cook down some more. That's what breaks up these big chicken pieces. That's why I tell you, you don't have to shred it so small. We're going to put in about a cup and a half of chicken broth and we're going to hold off on the salt because when I cook the chicken, I always add salt uh, seasoning to the broth. So I'm going to hold off to make sure that I'm not going to over salt it. We'll taste it as soon as it comes up to the boil and you'll know how much you need to add in there. As soon as this loosens up a little bit and you're able to stir it around easily, that's when you know you've had enough broth in Okay, so I'm going to let this come up to the boil. We're going to cover it and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. And I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes for the chicken. And everything is nice and cooked down. As you can see, a lot of the liquid will evaporate. And that's what you want. You don't want this very, very juicy. But you don't want it dry either. And this is where you're going to taste it for salt. Okay, because... This is the last thing you're going to add to the chicken. Okay, so we're going to taste it. I need a little bit of salt, and that should be good. And that's it. We're going to turn this off, and we're going to start our dough 
for the puffy tacos. Alrighty, we're gonna get our dough ready. And here I am using uh, the maseca, the instant corn masa flour. Here I have the maseca, the corn flour, and this is all purpose flour, and our salt, our baking powder, and we're gonna give this a mix. And the reason I don't use all cornmeal is because when you go to fry them and you fold them over, they will crack and they will not maintain their their shape. And if you put the flour in, it works out just nice and they're nice and crispy and pliable at the same time. Okay, so now we're gonna add our water. I'm gonna add the water a little bit at a time. If we need more, we add more. Okay, I'm gonna take this out of the bowl so that you can see where I'm at. Because I know that gets in the way. And that's it, that's all you need. Just enough to where it comes together. But yet when you touch it, it won't stick to your hands. Okay, so that's why I said you put a little bit of the water at a time so that you don't overdo it. Now we're going to shape the dough into balls. And this depends on the size that you want. I normally go with, it, this is about two ounces, which may be a little much. And then I just put them there, get them ready to press them. And these really, you want to serve them as they're coming out. That's the best way to serve them. They will taste better that way. They're not good just sitting around. I think that's when you can get their best flavor. And when you're not using the dough, keep it in a plastic bag so that it doesn't dry up on you. And I keep the little balls in here as well and they don't dry up on you and start to crack, okay? So we're gonna get our press ready. Okay, I have a piece of parchment paper over here. I am going to lay my, my tortillas out there as soon as I make them, and then we'll transfer over to the stove. So you take your little ball and you put it in the center. I use two pieces of parchment paper. You can use plastic, whatever you have. It's okay. And you just put it in the center and press and they just come out the size of a regular corn tortilla and that's it you're good just like that okay so i will do a couple of these here and then i will make them as i go i just want to show you how i press these very easy there's nothing to it press down and turn it around so that you have even thickness all the way around. Okay, just like that. And there we go. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, see how pretty they come out? Nice and round, perfect size, just like that. Okay, let's pop on over to the stove and we'll get these going. All right guys, here we go with the first one. I have the temperature at about 350 degrees. You drop in your tortilla carefully and it will float here in a minute as soon as it starts to bubble. See how it starts to float. And as soon as it starts to poof up, where the puffy taco gets its name, you hit it right down the middle with your uh, spider and put it in half, fold it in half, and let it continue frying. Sometimes it, you know, it wants to get away from you because of the air in the tortilla. Then you just hold it, submerge it into the oil, and it will continue to fry. And turn it over every once in a while. Then I take the tong and pull it out, let it drain a little bit. And I have my rack over here with my a cooling rack. And then I just pop them in there 
and let them drain some more. And then you just keep going to the next one. Just be careful when you drop them in not to burn yourself. If they start cooking too fast, that means you have the heat way too high, so you need to be about 340, 350. As soon as it starts to pull down, and flip it, and there's the puffy taco. It's kind of hard to see with the spider in the way here, but you see how it's poofy there? And you just want that crease in the middle so you can fold it. Like I said, sometimes it wants to get away from you. and pull it out, let it drain. And there you go, you just keep going. Here is everything. We have our shells here, our chicken, our shredded chicken. We have some cheese, some queso fresco, some cheddar, lettuce, tomatoes, some diced onions, cilantro, and some limes. Now you can put this on your table just like that or you can fix them individually. I'm going to show you how we do ours here at home. You take your taco shell, your puffy taco, add your chicken. Some of these are still very hot. Okay, if I bring them over here. Stuff them however you want, how much meat you want. That's up to each person. Okay, but I like to leave just enough room to add in my condiments. Now I put my lettuce. My tomato. tomato, a little bit of onion, a little bit of cilantro, everybody's yes and no on cilantro, if you don't like it, don't put it on, and personally I love the queso fresco with these, and there we go, look at that, how delicious, okay, I'm going to give it a bite here, I'm not going to come out again because my allergies are still got me pretty good guys, so I'm just going to taste it here. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good, guys. I hope that you found the video helpful. If you did and you liked the content, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps me out here on the channel, guys. It tells YouTube to share our videos a little bit more. So I really would appreciate that and I will have the recipe, everything listed down in the description box. So always take a look there first and don't forget to share the video with family and friends. Alright guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.